my check one two one two my check one two one two oh. checky checky i guess it's, it's good it's good this time checky 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 good morning sam how you doing today good morning could be better not a not real happy not a hundred percent today i feel i'm a little extra tired these days it's been piling up all my my um tiredness yeah no just uh very discouraged i told you uh i didn't do my taxes right um oh, because yeah. it came out to like six thousand dollars that laura and i did owed and i was like we decided to hold off and get like professional opinion so we finally got time to do it uh yesterday mm -hmm. so we went to portchester uh, okay accounting place in portchester so after an hour there um he says okay so federal you owe sixty five hundred dollars and more than what you were supposed to right i yeah but you know there's interest because we didn't pay mm -hmm. blah, blah blah so i was fine with that you know it's like it is what it is right we got to get it paid and then he comes with uh yet yeah, state new york state you guys owe five thousand dollars i was like how the fuck? In Connecticut, you owe 1200 So get the fuck out of here, man. $12,000? How the fuck you want me to come cough up $12,000? How are you on in New York? He said because we were like half a uh, resident in 2022. That is so fucking bullshit, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm so done. I'm ready to, uh, I don't know, man. Like, if, if you're financial literate and you're listening to this and you want to be my mentor please Hold teach up. me i'm so done with this shit bro how do you pay taxes they take taxes off my taxes taxes every time. on the food Will and you... then come at the, at the the end of the year you want me to cough up twelve thousand dollars get the fuck out of here man that's disgusting it's it's just criminal just damn criminal. that hurts man mostly you know after you pay well every check they you earn, you pay taxes. You go buy food, you pay taxes. Yeah. Everything else you buy, so you get double tax. Let's be honest in this earth. Yeah. And then at the end of the year, you have to pay taxes again. So it's triple yeah. tax. Yeah. That's why nobody can move up. You know, and instead of uh, those twelve thousand dollars, I'd rather like pay that ten thousand dollars for that course. I don't want to name any names because I don't want to get, get in trouble money. or anything. But. That gentleman I told you was like ten thousand dollars for the course, and he teaches you financial literacy and how to get ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's so. crazy. That I, I'm crazy. just so tired of this man. That's Very discouraged. A, that's a lot of money in one shot. Yeah, but I got that off my chest. How you doing? Well, I'm doing good. Just um, lately, I've been thinking about time and how time is the most valuable asset I I have, you have, everybody has. Yeah. And I'm trading it for paper, for dollars. And mm -hmm. it's making me very unhappy. Lately, that's my mindset. I'm like, I'm giving up something I cannot ever, ever give back Yeah. for dollars. And dollars, I can fucking make a pile of dollars and burn it into dust. It mm -hmm. means nothing, it's just paper that we have given a value and it's bothering me. Right. Honestly, that's what's been in my mind this week. Yeah. I need, yeah, to, no, I... I need to do something. That's pretty much it. It's like one more time. Well, what's the alternative though? That. You know, with uh, uh, financial freedom, I think it comes, comes time. Yeah, and sacrifices too. So yeah. I gotta see what I'm willing to give because yeah. right now I'm trading my time for money so yeah ideally i don't think that's a fair exchange no 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 that's you get home tired you don't think you don't want to do anything so that's why this is layman in the new society time. yeah you give time with no time you don't have time to think exactly bro it's it's modern day slavery you hit that right in the nail because if you think about it right we're uh, you're probably not in the same position I am as far as owing so much money to these fucking crooks. But you work the whole year. Then let's say you're... It, the, the money they give you, I feel like, is just borrowed. 
right? Let's say, uh, yeah, let's uh, paint it, uh, paint it nice and say you're making $100,000 a year when you're actually taking home, what, maybe $60,000 mm -hmm. and then your money is being devalued because of inflation. So in reality, you're um, taking 40000 And then at the end of the year, it's like, hey, you still owe us, well, probably jointly with my wife, so let's say it's $6,000 each. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you still owe us uh, $6,000. So reality, what, what did I make? I made $36,000. Yeah, given your time, precious time, you don't ever go back. It's modern day slavery, bro. And with those $36,000, you're only paying bills. Mm -hmm. right? You got mortgage to pay. You got car payment to pay. You get you got to feed yourself. You know what bothers me, too? And um, a lot of people don't realize it, right? Uh, it's just, well, that's a big deal that we're giving over time. Mm -hmm. Nobody really realizes it, right? Yep. People just look at the straight line. They don't see the whole outside of the box. So I talked to somebody. Oh, but you got a good job. What else you want? I'm like, what the fuck? One more. I want, One more. Yeah, exactly. I want to live life. I'm not living. Yeah. I can't even go have a fucking lunch with the people I I want because my time is so yeah. pretty much during the week. It's just all I do is work. Yeah. I don't really have really free time. Then weekends, I got to fill everything up, but it's stressful. Right. Yeah, You got to see, oh, who can I go see? Who I have time for? What can I do? Mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. And that's not a life. That's, no. that's like that book, 1984 or something like that. George, yeah. George Orwell. Yeah. Orwell. Uh, that book's scary, man. I read half of it, and it feels that's our future. Yeah. Another book I think might be interesting is uh, the the book I shared with you, uh, The Fourth Turning. Oh, I got to I gotta I look at it. I don't know who the there. author is, but um, it, it's pretty much a breaks down. Um, there, there's like two, there's four comings. Uh, pretty much half of it is good. The other half is not. I think there's uh, there's a, I, I forget what the name of the first um, turning is. The second coming is like awakening. The third one, I forget. The fourth one is where we are right now. So they say it's like history tends to repeat itself in cycles of 80 years. So like right now, if you were to go 80 years back, you have World War II. If you mm -hmm. were to go 80 years back, would be another kind of war and 80 years back would be another kind of war 80 years back would be the civil what revolution a, what about world war one where does it fit because world war one and world war two was between a couple of years not really two 20 yeah. years 10 years whatever it was it's a good question I'm, I'm assuming it's probably in the third turning because if you think about it world war one and world war two were back to back and then we yeah. had the cold war Mm -hmm. It wasn't really a war. It was just political. It was just right. uh, strategic. It was like playing chess. Yeah. So then you had little wars here and there, but nothing big, nothing major like yeah. it has happened. Because when Napoleon was around, it, was, it mm -hmm. was his war. Yeah. So I think all of that counts as one. I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a good, good question. Because each empire, when they've been around from, uh, look at the Roman Empire, they were... They were in war all the time. That was that's what made him great. I think what m made him go down, and I got to research yeah. and everything was peace. Right. Peace is remember like in that movie Batman when we went to watch it. That uh, w uh what's the quote that Bane said that if you really pay attention, it's very very deep. That um, success has uh, uh, made him weak or something like that. that actually, being winning actually made him a failure. Mm, when he mm. breaks his back, and it's true. Every great empire is great until there's, there's it comes that point that they're the number one. That's when they start falling, falling right. apart. Yeah, it's, it's, there's the uh, the wolf climbing the hill is hungrier than the wolf that's already at the top. Exactly. It's always like that. But they, like, like you said, every empire will fall, must fall. That's from the Bible, bro. But the uh, go, going back to the... Uh, the book, I think the, um, so the 80 periods where, where history tends to repeat itself, it's pretty much the 80 years of the United States. Because I think if you do 80 years worldwide, I think, I don't know if that works. But check check that video out. It's, it's, yeah, I'm going to check it.
pretty pretty interesting. It's always good to keep your mind open to different things. Well, yeah. not everything though. So let me just point <laughs> that out, please, guys. Not everything. Some sort of information you're always good to intake and try to understand it, try to make the best out of it. And it makes sense. There's some stuff that they want to feed you in the media that doesn't make sense. And you know it. It seems just like it's a Disney movie. Yeah. But some of the stuff like seems crazy. You start like thinking about it, we're doing a little research and it doesn't really feels crazy. Like they yeah. call it conspiracy theories a lot of stuff, but it's not really if you pay attention a lot of the conspiracy theories have become real well, no, now nowadays if you question anything you're if you go against the narrative you're a conspiracy theorist yeah but they, they don't want you questioning things through history uh every crazy person has been right at the end of all, all this stuff <laughs> i wouldn't say every crazy person well <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, well a lot of people have been Mm, label us crazy. Look at Einstein. His ideas were not there. Supposedly some people thought it was impossible, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Edison, I don't know, there's a lot of rumors he stole ideas from other people. Yeah. Tesla was one of the people nobody recognized. His ideas are even above our mm -hmm. time period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it will yeah, go I, back. I don't want to say everybody because then you put Hitler in that group, oh no 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 put, no no um, no! Uh, well, the uh, uh, King Leopold uh, or whatever who was that, that massacred millions of Africans. Oh, I didn't know that. So every well, in ideas, right? A lot of ideas that don't make sense at the time might not be so out of there. That, and I mean it. That don't mean in crazy ideas like race and stuff like that. I mean just information. Uh, look at what was the, the um, Greek um, those Greek people that they they help uh, uh, shape society nowadays with their books Arist Aristotle Aristotle uh, yeah all, all like I forgot their names I don't I don't know how to pronounce mm -hmm. it. but their quotes bro they live through history yeah there's there's nothing wrong with uh, if if something doesn't make sense to you there's nothing wrong with questioning it. Yeah. And, and it seems like nowadays you're penalized for doing so. Yeah, even in Instagram, Facebook, they ban you if you have uh, legitimate questions about things that don't make sense or if you have spoke your mind. Yeah, There's some stuff I think they're very extreme mm -hmm. that, that I understand it shouldn't be allowed on the internet, but they allow things that shouldn't be allowed on the internet mm -hmm. now. Uh, and I might give you a good example of um, how messed up I think society is, right? Uh, they're... Instagram allows uh, posts on Facebook about, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, when they're between uh, siblings' relationships. Incest? Oh, yeah, incest, right? But if you give your opinion about a legitimate topic going on right now, they take it down. Mm -hmm. They frame you as hate, uh, as hate speech. Mm -hmm. How can that be? If one is destroying society, the other one is your opinion. Mm -hmm. Or if you think, or they label you um, misinformation. We've seen a lot of things. We heard a lot of things of what was going to happen with COVID, and it became true. But if yeah, you give yeah, your information. Sure. It's like up to the longest time, it's like you, you weren't, they didn't give you the opportunity to say anything about COVID. Yeah. And it's turning out to be true that. Oh, that's <laughs> mine. Interruption. Oh, damn. All right, let's start recording again. Part of it. Huh? Part of it cut off. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, up to a certain point, um, you weren't allowed to question or even talk about COVID. No. And the, the fact that you weren't able to talk about it makes you raise even more questions. Because mm. why don't they want us talking about this? So, and, and if you just agree with them, it's like, all right, okay, I won't talk about it. And you're, you're very easily uh, manipulated. And the, the scary the part... Perfect kind of human beings that they want. It's just work 
pay your goddamn taxes and procreate. And, well, not even because uh, there's this conspiracy theory, yeah, and I think um, it's gonna be true, right? Uh, supposedly, and this one, I don't know where I heard it, but uh, through the years, it's been making sense. I heard it, I think, in 2009 when I was in high school. Um, the, their plan, right, is to make humans not being able to procreate. So after, you're going to have to pay a lab so they to be able to have a kid. They're going to mm -hmm. put it, like, in the matrix, in mm -hmm. a little capsule like that. And we already see Germany has a plan of building I don't know, man. I think there's a lot of people that won't, don't want to have kids anymore. But what's the best and way? If you, because they're, they're already doing that, right? Through our, through our nutrition, through all the, the GMO and the bioengineered shit. Social that they media, put in our social media, bro. So, yeah, social media, your phone in your pocket with the, uh, the wi wi wireless frequency is, is fucking with your, uh, your sperm count or whatever. So they're already doing it. It's already hard to, uh, have kids but people are also realizing that it's way too goddamn expensive to have kids for me and if if you're not really raising your kids because you have to be at work so what's raising your kids your fucking ipads or the school the school system so people are very tired and they don't want to have kids for for me ex uh, honestly would i love to have kids yes but I want to have time to educate my kids, to have, have memories with them. I, I don't want two days of the week to spend time with them. No, that's, that's fucked up. I uh, know. This is my problem. Uh, thank God my girlfriend has a lot more time. I don't know what I would do without her. So I got to give her a special thanks. I don't know if she's going to listen to this podcast, but... Um, I work so much. Mm -hmm. I go see my kids. I don't have energy to do a lot of shit. Exactly. And then I still want to do all this stuff. And it's choosing. And then um, changing the subject a little. Maybe before there. you change the subject, let me just... Because uh, uh, th there was a point to what I was saying. Is that people, people are getting so tired and they're realizing that... Shit, why have a kid? And, like, the machine needs slaves... To continue, uh, you know, working, feeding the system, giving their energy in exchange, energy and time in exchange for dollars and paying taxes. So what, when with them putting all this shit in our food, people realizing that, fuck, why well, have kids? If I have kids, I can't live life. I'm not Enjoying living life, life now. So if I have kids, it's going to get even worse. So I, I think governments are like realizing that if we don't have slaves to, to run the system, what's going to happen? So I think it will go either way. Either their plan to like not making people like give people the ability to, to procreate. But then what's going to feed the machine? Uh, well, I'm just going to... We're going to get back into that one, but uh, before I say anything else, right? So there was this UFC uh, fighter, the champion, the one that beat uh, Conor McGregor. I forgot. I think he's Russian or something. Khabib. Khabib. Bro, he says something so freaking, like, smart because to me that's very smart. And mm -hmm. I posted, I reposted on Instagram. He said, so you 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 work a lot, right? I'm just going to reframe it in my own words. Mm -hmm. You work a lot. Who's raising your kids? You're the teacher, right? You don't know if he's a good person or not. He has an idea, and he's right. going to implement those ideas in his classroom. Right, and, and he's gonna who's feed. giving the teacher the, uh, the ideas to teach in the classroom? Either he's getting it from himself, because we see a lot of stop being pushed into classroom now that we didn't see it when we mm. were being raised yeah for when sure. we were in school it was about learning and improving right now we see a lot of teachers pushing their own agenda into kids and he said it yeah he said it like who's your kid is spending eight hours in a classroom and you don't know who's really raising him mm -hmm. because you don't know that person and did you know that in most countries the uh 
the the uh, not not the agenda the uh, what the curriculum that the teachers get comes from the government, oh, and if you break that. down like the the word government, Gover. govern meant, which I think meant is like uh, the the root word comes from Latin, which is your mind, govern your mind. Have you? Then this this crazy idea. I uh, watch a post, right? Supposedly, um, every word you said has meaning and brings the energy through the day, right? So, good that's, morning. That's a good topic too. Good morning. Mm -hmm. You know, good if you morning. pay atten attention to what it means in the other sense, right? What mm -hmm. does it bring? Like. There is hidden meaning to certain words in English. Yeah, Supposedly, I don't know if it is true, but there, there's a theory saying that the uh, the English word is based on spells. Sounds like it. So, like, why do you spell a word? Because you're casting a spell. Good morning. What are you morning? Uh, yeah. I thought I gotta look up the video because it, it goes down and breaks down a lot of words that I mm -hmm. never paid attention, mm -hmm. and it's like. Yeah, why? It even you know who I got that from? I think it was Jeremy Griff. Oh, I don't know who that is. He's genius, man. I he's he's younger than us, but like the stuff that comes out of that that guy's mouth is like one day, man, if you're listening to us, love to meet you, man. But yeah, he, he goes into like the uh, the the words and I, I think there's uh the black Black Laws Dictionary. Well, that one, like, that one I, I saw something about it. I, I never even it. heard I bought it. it. I bought it. Oh, you did? I never even heard of it. I thought it was BS until this guy starts going about the definitions of what a human is, exactly. what a corporation is. I'm like... I think it's the same guy. It's an older guy, right? No, no, no. No, no. no. This guy was... No, he's, it was he's an older young. guy from Canada because mm -hmm. he was saying how... Um, like the dictionary we have and what it's lawyers not, right. is so different. It's man. not like what the court uses to, to, to judge you. Because human becomes a whole other thing. Yeah. And uh, like the word corporation, uh, human resources and everything. Once you look at that dictionary, it's freaking insane what yeah. you really find. Yeah. Yeah. And this is stuff that some people are not going to like what we're talking about because they don't understand it. Yeah. But um, it's just uh, you always keep an open mind. People fear what they don't understand. That's why you have to have more knowledge. It sounds crazy a lot of this stuff, but if you pay attention through history, hundreds yeah. of years later, you find out uh, crazy stuff that you you think it was impossible. Like I'm gonna shoot this one very very religiously, and a lot of people are not gonna like it. The Catholic Church has a very bad history, but people tend not to look at it. Mm -hmm. Like through years, man, if you look at the at the history of the popes, the popes had orgies, the popes done some horrible things, the popes have more sex than the kings. And why nobody yeah. talks about it? Nobody bats an eye. Yeah. You're gonna tell me they're not doing that nowadays? Yeah. I know it's, I'm gonna raise some eyebrows, some people are gonna start hitting on me. <laughs> and the misconception is that a man was sent by God. No, God didn't choose this guy. It was a bunch of other guys in a, in a building. That's what the thing is. Mm -hmm. Even in the Bible, it talks about false prophets. Yeah. I I don't know. It's, you got to really realize that God is an entity, I think. God is something we don't really understand. Mm -hmm. But you can't tell me that a man is going to have the power and the message of God when you see he, they're in gold robes with gold stuff a lot of riches wealth around them and then they tell you to give money to the poor and they don't do anything to help that's the biggest bullshit I ever heard and if people believe this I'm sorry but you really have to wake up yeah yeah no it's it's they they don't practice what they preach Nah, but that's where, nah, I don't want to get into this one, but that'll be another topic. That's where you, you read the Bible, it give you a lot of stuff. I listen to the Bible, and it's a very complicated book mm -hmm. because it talks in metaphors. Yeah. But at the same time, I think the Bible is not what it used to be. This book has been changed to give power to the governments through the centuries. Oh, for sure, time. yeah, to take power away from the people and give it to the... Uh hierarchies the uh kings of the time the uh popes the governments yeah. 
that's 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 yeah, where it's, it's not the original translation that no nah. and nowhere in the bible i really think so, it talks about the pope in the ones i read no talks I, about pope i think it's pope it's a new concept yeah the, the, because christianity only only uh happened after the uh the bible was written yeah but if you think about it right and this one is just me the bible talks about the end of times the beginning of times mm -hmm. prophecies mm -hmm. about things that are going to happen never talks about a new church that's going to be the light of the world it talks yeah. about a church that is going to deceive the world mm -hmm. never talks about it that's just my opinion why you gotta really listen to it never talks about pope how it's gonna lead people into freedom yeah but just you know just saying just saying yeah pointed it out there because if we go down that path it's gonna be so much stuff to you stuff. know to, to some i think religion makes them a better person but um i i think uh religion is very divisive i think it's, it's just one more thing that uh divides humanity I think through history, man, people have used religion to do, commit the most horrible crimes in history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I believe in God. Do I say I'm religious? No, because I feel religion just divides you and puts you into, oh, you're not as good as me because you don't believe in this instead mm -hmm. of teaching you or trying to teach them what you believe and mm -hmm. understand what they believe so you can grow. And yeah. it's, it's used as a, a tool just to divide. Right. No, yeah. I, I think uh, religion and spirituality are two different things. Because religion is that, um, that group's point of view. And they're trying to conform your mind to it. So it's not really a, a personal uh, experience. But spirituality, on the other hand, is a personal experience with God or with the the unknown. I I, I think spirituality is more important if, if it makes you a better person, more important than than religion. Yeah, I think religion just is a tool. I do believe in God. I do believe in a lot of stuff, but I think it's a tool just to control the masses. Because mm -hmm. if you see now. Uh, people that claim they are chosen by God, the amount of power they have is insane. Mm -hmm. They, I don't know if you've seen this guy asking that he needed money for a new um, private jet or whatever. Yeah. It's sad, dude. Yeah. And, and I believe it was never in the Bible. I want riches for myself, but I don't want to take it from the people for the wrong cause. But I have met people that are like that in real life. Like mm -hmm. eye to eye, that they use God to to deceive people. Yeah. I'm not gonna say names because they might be watching. <laughs> yeah. But it's sad, man. Why would you do that? Yeah. I think a bigger for me is like if I use God for something that is so selfish, like to sleep with women. That's 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 messed up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay a big price at the end of the day. Yeah. I I, I believe in God too, but I. <laughs> Excuse Bless. me. Thank you. Uh, but I, I think everything we were taught is wrong. I, I don't think uh, we know half of a percent of what's really going on. No, we don't. Like, I've, I've thought about it. It's like, shit, is it possible that maybe we live in a simulation? So it's possible. But if, if we live in a simulation, who created the people that's running the simulation, right? So I think there still has to be a God. It's just, I think we don't understand, and the answer is so simple. Sometimes the answers are right in front of you, right? You don't understand them mm -hmm. because you want to make, well, you think everything is so complicated. It's easier to believe there is a simulation out there. It's easier to believe there are aliens out there than to believe there is a God that created things mm -hmm. for a purpose, mm -hmm. for something I, greater. I think regardless which route you take, if there's aliens, no aliens, if, if there's, if it's a simulation or not a simulation, there's still somebody or a higher force or an intelligent being that created everything. Or chat GGP. <laughs> well, chat GPT will be running the simulation. Yeah. But who created ChatGPT? Somebody else. But that's where it comes so complicated. I don't. I 
I do not believe in the Big Bang that everything comes from nothing. No, you gotta have something. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really make sense. You know? Because the the individual, the intelligent force, has got to be outside of this, right? Because the man that created the computer is not in the computer. Mm -hmm. He the, he he's not susceptible to the uh, laws of the computer. He's outside of that. But so God is outside of the laws of, of time, time, space. Pers in everything physics that's how crazy but um i don't know if it is if i'm right or which would be right. the definition if, if we're in a simulation will be the definition of somebody that created the uh the simulation right yeah but if you think about it there's a part in the bible i don't remember that if it is my mind making it or i heard from i think i heard from somebody else that one day for a god is a thousand thousand days for us or something like that mm -hmm. so through history dude i believe we as a species are millions of years i don't know what to tell you because it comes a whole idea about the garden of eden when you read the bible there were already humans out there mm -hmm. but people don't want people think we just come from adam and eve and i think i do not agree with that i think mm -hmm. adam and eve are a different species mm -hmm. Because when you read the Bible, there's little things, right, that he kicked him out of the Garden of Eden and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So after the Garden, uh, there's a little part where he talks that there, it makes it look like there were already humans out there. There were mm -hmm. already people out there, mm -hmm. but they were different. They were special. That means they were created by God. And I think that's where, through the Bible, right, it comes the lineage of uh, Adam, uh, and then it comes David, and then Jesus from the same bloodline. Mm -hmm. So that means there is something in DNA wise different to certain people in the world. That's my point. That's interesting. That's my take on it. And yeah. uh, then from there, bro, there is another part in the Bible to me is very interesting. Uh, it talks about the giants, right? How the giants are the sons of. Uh, angels with women, yeah. but people don't want to understand that. There's proof of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, my girlfriend is from Peru. She sent me videos of freaking skulls like this they had yeah. there. Why yeah. can't you believe something like so simple? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the but, Nephilim yeah. fallen. And then the Book of Enoch, bro. That's a very interesting book. Yeah. But you know, it makes makes you question, like uh, when you talk about the Bible too, is like why did they take out so many books out of the uh, the Bible? They don't want you reading it. No. Because remember uh, what we talk about, knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. And if you understand things, you're going to think different. Yeah. But who controls that? People in power, governments. Mm -hmm. A lot of civilizations through time, I think, have changed the Bible for their own reasons. They mm -hmm. have taken books because they don't want people smart. Yeah. Remember, what was in, uh, I, I forgot when, medieval times, only the Pope? or the people that uh, were approved by the Pope could read the Bible. Why? The book mm -hmm. was supposed to be, like, they could read the read it. They, yeah. they couldn't. They, they, they were, they had the idea that you had to be a certain position in government in life, and that's mm -hmm. the biggest BI. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, that's where I could give misinformation. Yeah. So it's, it's sad. If you were a peasant back then, you couldn't. But yeah. imagine how many people thought were shown the wrong stuff. They couldn't think. Yeah. And um, that's where that book comes from, um, Outwitting the Devil. Fear, bro. Because what they used to teach you in the medieval times, fear. Mm. Fear of doing this, fear of this. You know what? Sometimes I think that fear feeds the machine. Because fear takes your energy away, and then the only thing you focus about is survival. Well, that's what that book, I Wouldn't the Devil, says. In plain words, it says fear is, is the devil's work. I'm just, I'm reading it, bro, and it always comes to that fear. Because Remember that movie in Disney, uh, The Monsters? Oh, yeah, that's the Where fear. they scare the little kids, and then the the fear -o meter or whatever, yeah. is what feeds their, the, their world. Yeah. Oh, oh man, Disney is something else, bro. There's a lot of theories about Disney that are very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Like uh, that one about the Monster Inc. Mm 
how the fear feeds everything. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, what moves people more than anything? Fear. Right. Pain. That's what makes you change. Yeah, your basic survival uh, instincts. instincts. What makes you change is if you have a bad experience, something is painful, and you have that feeling right here. And even, I'm going to give you a simple example of simple. Once you get a hangover with tequila, you don't want to drink tequila again. <laughs> because yeah. it brings bad memories, same thing. <laughs> and I think that same thing works with uh, with pain and fear. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one thing I don't want my son to, to grow up with, fear. Mm -hmm. Caution is different. Fear mm -hmm. is something I don't because after I listened to the book on, on uh, Spotify, right? I went in the devil. I love that book mm -hmm. because it has a lot of knowledge. I don't think I'm ready to really understand it fully. Yeah. Because, like you said, sometimes in life you get the messages, but you, you're not ready to understand it. And I, I think books are, are very unique because you can read the same book four or five times and you get four or five different messages. Exactly. It, 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 really, depends, it really depends what message you need at that time. So what I'm going to really say with this, right, is that fear in that book is everything. Fear is everything. Defeats, like you said, the machine. So the mm -hmm. devil, right? The devil's work is fear. Because mm -hmm. in the Bible, it doesn't talk about fear. And I never realized it. Supposedly, um, uh, this guy, Napoleon Hill, interviews the devil. I wonder if he really did. Because the way it talks and sounds. Mm -hmm. Or he made a persona. But the information this persona in his mind had, it's very interesting. He talks yeah. about drifting. talks about... The food you eat and uh, fear is just the thing that the devil holds in his hands. And w when we go to church, what the people teach us? Fear, right? Mm -hmm. If you do this, you're going to go to hell. Mm -hmm. If you have too many wives, you're going to go to hell. Why do you think that is? Because in the Bible, what, did they mention fear how many times? Was it one time or, or something like that? Or? It's all about being brave, believing then, God. Don't be afraid. You go and then you go to church and it's all fear mongering. Exactly. So that's why in that book, it talks that, that his biggest servants are the people in church because they show you, they teach you about fear. And who are his biggest enemies? The people that think. And that book is just, it opened my eyes. And I got to give special thanks to Pedro Schoolian about it. Yeah. He's the one that talked about it and pointed it out. Yeah. So a book like that, it's, it shakes, it sh kind of shakes your, your foundation. Because you come from seeing things as careful, having fear, uh, you, you would say supposedly, but actually it feeds the opposite. Right, yeah. Like, you got to do what you got to do in life. You're going to fail. Yeah. If you're going to fail, you're going to learn. Yeah. Bro, this, this has been pretty natural. It's just been flowing, but we haven't picked a topic. <laughs> sure. Well, we don't. How long has it been? Um, let me see the camera. I'll tell you right now. Let me check Forty-two minutes. Jesus. 